Hey everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are gonna take a look by popular demand, we're gonna take a look once again, this is kind of like part two of our SSL channel strip shootout, okay? So there are a couple of videos that were done about a week ago um, where I took a look at the solid state logic here, the new native channel strip, and we compared it to the universal audio channel strip and the waves channel strip. That video went out, was really popular, a lot of people watched it, and the one thing that people kept saying in the comments and people who wrote me some emails, and I appreciate all your feedback, all you guys bitching and moaning, <laughs> I'm kidding is that they didn't feel that it was fair that we only looked at three channel strips, UA, Waves, Solid State Logic, that the Plugin Alliance, the one here on the left, was left out of the contest, and that wasn't really fair because a lot of people had a lot of positive things to say about this particular plugin. So now, before we kind of get into this and I set up what we kind of did and what we're kind of doing to kind of get everybody on the same page, there's a couple of things I just want to make you aware of so I don't waste any of your time if you're not someone who wants to sit through a longer video. If you're looking for a five minute video, this is not the video. Stop right now, go to another channel, okay? Um, if, you, if you're looking for the five minute quick fix or you're looking for a video that not only compares these two, but all the other ones that I just talked about, including the CLA Mix Hub and all that, if you're looking for one video that puts all six, eight, nine, 10 channel strips or all the other offshoot ones that I don't have, it's not in this video. So um, respectfully, just pause the video, go somewhere else. There's no need to leave a bunch of nasty comments because if there's a bunch of nasty derogatory things, I'm just gonna delete the comment anyway. And unfortunately, there are some people in this world that even when you give free content, they can't help themselves. They gotta get behind the keyboard and they gotta be nasty. So there's lots of other videos you can go watch. Thank you so much for watching. Pause the video or click out, go somewhere else. For the rest of you that wanna really hear what my thoughts are, because I'm doing this second video because of the overwhelming response <laughs> response about this plugin alliance plugin I want to just take some of you through what I've done up to this point why we're doing this video and then finally obviously we're going to listen to and we're going to compare some of these okay so let's talk about what we did so we did a video where I compared this video the, excuse me this channel strip here solid state logic to waves UA Go watch that video if you want to go see the video I listened to all three I take you through the whole walkthrough of this plugin talked about the likes and dislikes of all three of the plugins, okay? And then we listened to all of them, we AB'd them, and you can make your decision on which one you like best, okay? That's what we did. If you're looking for the CLA Mix Hub, I did a two-part series on that. Between those two videos is about 40 minutes of content. Go watch that video. I tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I didn't put it into this video because I didn't feel that it was really relevant and I wanted to try to keep these videos, again, to not make them an hour long. Go watch that two-part video. The re in this video here, once again, we're gonna take a look at the Solid State Logic native plugin, and we're gonna compare it to the Plugin Alliance BX Console 4000E channel strip, which is relatively new. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention Plugin Alliance because I didn't have this plugin. That's why we didn't put it in the first one. I don't own Plug Al Plugin Alliance plugins. I've used some of them in the past, not this, obviously, and honestly, full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of their plugins. They're great plugins, a lot of people use them, fantastic. The ones that I've tried in the past, wasn't thrilled with. I had other versions of stuff I'm already comfortable with and so I never bothered to really go down the Plugin Alliance route and spend the extra money that I didn't need to. Um, but because of the, the overwhelming response to this plugin, I went out to Plugin Alliance's website, I went to download a demo to try to demo it. Was having problems for a couple of days getting the demo to install and work properly. So I went ahead, I emailed their tech support and within a day, I think 24 hours or so. Um, and I'm gonna mention his name because he was really helpful, Travis over Plugin Alliance. Um, helped me out, was really good. Customer support was really good. And that's my first experience with Plugin Alliance's tech support. So fantastic, great job, Travis. And not only did he, I asked him in an email, can you just reset the trial period so I can demo it? I explained what we did. We compared these other plugins and a lot of people said, we got to throw plugin alliance in the mix. And I said, I wanted to do you guys justice. Can you just open up the demo or get the demo to work? He was kind enough to not only do that, but he actually gave me the NFR, the plugin for free, which he did not have to do. I did not ask for. And he also gave me the G channel strip as well, which we'll look at in another video. So I told him we were gonna do a shootout. I was gonna compare him to this other one that I liked. And um, he said, great, here it is, go ahead. Um, I said, thank you so much, you didn't have to do that. And I also said, you know, full disclosure again, um, just because it gave me a free plugin doesn't mean I'm gonna tell you it's head and shoulders above this other plugin if I don't think that it is. 
I haven't really listened to it in great detail. We're going to listen to it together. But I wanted you to know that because most times the plugin companies, I don't get these plugins for free. Like in the last video, the three that we compared, I paid for myself with my own money. I've had those plugins for a while. Plugin Alliance was cool enough to donate this so we can compare them all because they feel confident that their plugin will stand up to these other ones. And let's listen, we'll see. So just so you know that, okay? Now, we're only going to compare it this time to this plugin here. And the reason for that is because this plugin clearly won, we all thought, and even the comments that were left on the last video, that the solid state logic kind of sounded a little bit more 3D and a little bit more depth, a little bit more vibe than the universal audio and the waves. Those two sounded very similar to each other. Go watch the other video. I'll link it in the description box if you want to hear it. This one, in my mind, in a lot of your minds, was the clear winner. And I even had said at the end of that last video, if I was buying a, one of these channel strips for the first time and I didn't own any of them, which one would I purchase? And I said I would purchase this one, okay? So because this was the clear winner, in, our, in my mind, we're going to compare that to this, okay? So we're going to talk about... You know, we're going to walk through the plugin, talk about, I got some notes here on what I like about the plugin alliance, just from a layout standpoint. And then we're going to listen to it and we're going to decide, do we like, do we don't like, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I hope that's cool. Most of my fellow uh, faithful followers that have been around a while, they know my videos are longer. I like to ramble. I like to be a little bit more detailed and you're all cool with it. For the other people, again, hit pause, go somewhere else, please. I'm doing this for free to help all of you. Now I'll say one last thing before we jump into the plugins. With the exception of Universal Audio, unless you have a, a Universal Audio hardware, all the other plugins that you guys are going to mention and complain about, you all can go demo them for free yourself. And I urge you to do that. These two plugins in front of you, you can demo. The Waves one, you can demo. The CLA Mix Hub, you can demo for free. And even the Universal Audio one, if you have a Universal Audio hardware, you can demo that plugin for free for 14 days. So if you don't like what's being done in the video or whatever it is, or you don't like the way it sounds, because over YouTube, I don't know how the hell these are all going to sound, these little subtleties. I urge you to go demo these yourself and do exactly what I'm doing and decide for yourself which one you like the best. Because in the end, all of those plugins all sound very similar to each other and they all sound great on their own. Okay. This it's just, it's just an opinion. This is so subjective. And I know a lot of you understand that, but believe me when I tell you, there were a lot of you who don't understand that. Another thing that I'll say too, when you're making your comments below, not for most of my fellow faithful friends and followers, some of the, the offshoot people that come in that just can't help themselves. When I hear you, when people make comments like, this doesn't sound anything like an SSL. I would be willing to bet my life that 90% of the people that make those kinds of ridiculous comments have never worked on a real SSL console. So unless you have ever stood in a room with a real SSL and you've actually worked on one for any length of time, don't worry about whether it sounds exactly like the hardware. I used to work on an SSL console. Now it's going back many years ago. So even for someone who worked on one for four or five years, even me to can say, does it sound exactly like the hardware? I can't be absolutely sure. I can tell you whether it has the SSL vibe and flavor, but to compare it to the hardware, unless you are sitting in the room or unless you've ever worked on one, it doesn't matter. Does it sound good or doesn't it sound good? All of these plugins are modeled on different consoles physically, so they all are going to sound a little different. They're not going to be exactly the same. Okay, and I'm harping on that because you get so many people who just don't get that. And if you don't get that and you don't understand that, then these reviews and comparisons are useless to you. You have to understand the way these plugins are really designed and the way they are to work. Get it? Okay. So let me first just by start out and say that the Plugin Alliance plugin versus the SSL, the Solid State Logic, there are a few additional features that are on the Plugin Alliance one that are not a part of this one, okay? Let's talk about it, just a couple of those. Okay, so just by looking at it, one of the complaints I had about the UA and the waves was the GUI size and how this one, Solid State Logic, was laid out so much nicer, easier to look at, easier on the eyes. I will say, Plugin Alliance, nice job, nice big GUI. It's laid out just like the Universal Audio one and the Waves one is from a, from the way everything is laid out, which is kind of the way it looks when you look down at an SSL desk, that's the way it looks. Not so much like this, okay? But they did a nice job with the GUI and making it nice and big, easier to see, much easier than the other two, okay? Comparatively speaking to the solid state logic, they're on par, they're equal to each other. The Plugin Alliance looks a little bigger, a little bit bigger knobs, but on the S solid state logic, things are spread out a little bit more 
in my mind, they're pretty much equal. Okay, so great job Plugin Alliance on that. I love that, okay? The thing that I also love about Plugin Alliance, which you don't get on this, is they have a mute button, okay? So you can mute a single channel. If you watched my CLA Mix Hub video, you'll see one of the things I hated about that plugin is that you have to constantly go back to the DAW to solo up the track. They have it right here, which is kind of nice. So in other words, what are we on? Kick in. If I were to do that and turn that on, I believe. Let me just double check this because if I don't, someone's gonna complain. And again, I wanna try to be accurate here. Let me solo up the kick in quickly. Let me just make sure that I'm correct in what I'm saying. Does this kick in? Turn it on. Yes, it mutes the actual track, which is beautiful, okay? Great job, Plugin Alliance. That in and of itself, is a, is, a, is a great feature compared to the um, solid state logic, or by the way, any of the other ones, especially the CLA Mix Hub. That's the one, the biggest downfall. And again, all this stuff is my opinion, folks. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know, it's one person's opinion. So I like that about the Plugin Alliance, okay? Also, the Plugin Alliance one has where, um, this is something similar that Waves, is, that Waves has done with things like the, um, the non-linear summing plugin, where they modeled actual different channels of a desk. So another one, I put all of these on channel one because just to try to compare apples to apples, but if this was kick in on, um, let's say your kick out mic, you can move this to channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five. I don't know how many channels there are. You'll have to go read the manual, but I'm sure there's probably at least 30 to 40 channels. So what that means is every piece of, or every channel inside the desk that they actually modeled is gonna have different circuitry in it and it's gonna sound a little bit different than the one prior to it, okay? That's part of, uh, you know, part of the, some of the, the more detailed modeling that's done here. That is not done on the solid state logic one, nor is it done on the other ones that we talked about. On the CLA Mix Hub, I'm not sure. You have to go look at the video, okay? I get confused after a while. So that's another really nice um, feature that they have there, okay, which is great. Outside of that, oh, and they have this thing called V-Gain. And again, I'll be honest, I didn't break out the manual and spend a lot of time doing this because this took me long enough to set up for you guys. But they also have this thing called V-Gain and also they have the input gain here. So this will my guess is there's probably some different colorations, some different, um, you know, some, some different tonal aspects by using the V-Gain, which again, you don't really get any of that on the solid state logic one either, okay? So there's a couple other subtleties in here, but those are the big ones that jump out at me um, that I kind of really like about the Plugin Alliance one, okay? So now what I did, let's just close these for a second. We're listening to the same piece of music that was done in the first video. We're using drum kit, bass, two acoustic guitars, four electric guitars, a B3 piano, and a Wurlitzer, no vocals, okay? And what I did, and you're gonna have to take my word for it, is I set up these plugins exactly the same from an EQ and a compression standpoint, okay? As much as I possibly could. The inputs, I drove the plugin as hard on one as the other, and I tried to level match them as best as I could, okay? So now I'm gonna play this little section of music, and this is with none of the plugins engaged. You can see that none of the plugins are turned on, okay? So let's just listen to what we're listening to in raw form. Oh, and one last thing to set it up. The only other plugins that are on this mix are on the drum bus, the uh, Solid State Logic drum strip, which I did a review on, which is fantastic, adding a little bit more punch and life to the drums, but both of the channel strips are running into that. And then on the master bus, we're using the SSL bus compressor, which I'm gonna do a review on soon. Great, great bus compressor. And then I'm also using the new Solid State Logic uh, um, XEQ, where I pulled out a little bit of 500 just to clean up some of the boxiness, okay? So that's the only other thing that's on there. Okay, so let's listen to the music with no plugins. Here we go.
Okay, there's the music. Okay, that's without the plugin. So what we're gonna do is what we did in the last video. We're gonna start off with the SSL, Solid State Logic, it's the first plugin. And then we're gonna switch over to the um, Plugin Alliance BX. Or BX, what do they call it? BX SSL 4000E. Okay, one last point. This plugin as it stands right now, at the recording of this video, the Plugin Alliance plugin is $349. It's the most expensive of all the SSL channel strips that I own, okay? This one over here, the Solid State Logic is 200 bucks. You can buy them as standalone, one-offs. Solid State Logic, you can do a subscription monthly yearly based thing similar to the Slate Digital. I think you can also do that now with Plugin Alliance. I think that's kind of new. Not really sure, check their website for current pricing, but if you just wanted to buy the plugin as a one-off, this is 150 bucks more than the SSL, okay? That is even more than the Waves one that we looked at and even the Universal Audio one, when you buy that at full price, I wanna say it's 250. Maybe $299. Now, the argument will be, well, I could just wait and buy them all when they're on sale. Of course, all these plug-in companies put them on sale. But let's put that aside for a minute. So 150 bucks more. So keep that in mind when you're listening to this. Okay, so we're going to start off with, and you're going to have to keep your eyes on the power buttons here, okay? Right now they're grayed out, which means nothing's on. But if I turn on the top ones, all the SSLs will be there. Then I'll turn it off, you'll hear a little gap, and then I'll turn on the BX console. Okay, so we're gonna start with the SSL. First, we're gonna start with it off, a little bit through, turn on the SSL, turn it off, turn on the plug-in alliance. Here we go. So what do I hear? Again, I don't know how this comes across on YouTube. What I hear is that the solid state logic, SSL, solid state logic on the left, has a little bit more bottom ends, not as open of an upper mid, and a little um, warmer, darker, whatever word you wanna use, to the top end, smoother, whatever, to the plug-in alliance, which the plug-in alliance, a little bit thinner on the bottom, but a nice openness in the upper mids, and a little bit, a little bit too bright for me on the top end. Now again, you can adjust these EQs. I set them at the same exact settings. And also again, because someone will mention this and I wanna make sure for people that are new to this, you understand this. Again, these are two different consoles, two different EQs physically. So can you tweak them and match them so they sound exactly the same? Probably, or you can get really darn close. That wasn't the object here. So that's just putting everything at the same settings. What do they sound like? Okay, let's listen to that again. We'll start with the SSL solid, SSL, I keep saying that, solid state logic, the SSL native, and then we'll go over to the plug-in alliance. Listen to the, the punch of the kick drum and the toms when they get to the tom fill section and listen to the top ends and you decide for yourself. Here we go. So there you go. So again, now what I will say that this plugin alliance plugin, 
I would take that again if 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 you were choosing. If I, you know, if I have four, if I have five of them now. I got the CLA Mix Hub. I have the Waves, the original Waves, the Universal Audio. I have the uh, SSL Native, and then we have now the the plugin lines five. If I had to choose, if I was choosing one out of the five, which one would I personally choose? I still think this wins by a hair. Something in the depth and the 3D-ness, 3D-ness of it sounds a little bit more depth to me, to my ear. The bottom end, it's a little bit punchier. The top end's a little bit smoother. Now that's not to say I can't get this plug in to sound that way from an EQ perspective, but I don't hear the same depth that I hear here. However, I do know, can notice right away that this sounds better to me than the original Waves and the Universal Audio one. And due to the extra features that are in this plugin, the additional, the, um, you can, the different model channels, the mute button, the larger GUI, that if I had, if I didn't have, you know, if I, in other words, I would take this one over the two that we're not looking at today that were in the last video. But these are very, very close. This is, a to me, still the winner but it's not as clear of a winner if it was in the last video. This plugin gets a lot closer in my mind. And if I spent a lot of time really dialing this in and using the different channels and doing some of the extra things on the plugin alliance that the solid state logic one doesn't have, I might change my mind and say this was the clear winner, okay? But I just wanted to put them side by side. Now again, 350 bucks, 200 bucks. You decide. This, let me say this. I this is not to me. I don't feel there any of these plugins are worth three hundred and fifty bucks. If this was a two hundred dollar plugin, and this is a two hundred dollar plugin, and I would say, and you didn't have either one, which one would I get? Maybe then I would lean towards the plugin alliance because it does have some of those extra features in it that's not in this one. And, um, you know, that may, you know, and you may have other, you know, different other plugin alliance plugins and you just may like the tone of it better. Then I may say to you, yeah, this might be a better deal. It's got the thing with the V gain. It's got the extra channels. It's got the mute. It's got some other different things you can do with the filtering with the, you know, divided by three times three. There's all, there's more features. There's more features in the plugin alliance. Will you use them all the time? I don't know. But again, it's, a, it's 150 bucks more than this plugin. So it really depends on you and what you like. Um, just on sound all by itself set to the same settings, I'm still leaning towards this one myself personally. If I dial this in more and use some of the additional features that this one doesn't have, would this one ultimately sound better to my ear? Maybe it would. It's darn close. It's pretty close. It's a great plugin. Plugin Alliance did a nice job on this. I will say that more so than I feel the other two that we looked at in the other video. So that's the comparison, okay? My, you know, again, take what you will from this video. Again, these these things are very subjective. And believe me, I, I love when you guys comment and we disagree and we battle it out in a respectful way. What I get pissed about, and you don't see the comments because I delete them when people just get downright nasty. And I'm just letting people know that if you're gonna be downright nasty, the comment will never be seen, it'll be deleted. Um, and I'm not even gonna respond back to you again. These things are subjective. This is fun. You know, we get all these different plugins and we're checking them out. We're having a good time with them. And we it's it's okay to disagree. And your opinion and my opinion may be totally different. My opinion isn't to try to sell you any one of these plugins. My opinion is to, or my goal is to just show you the differences, you know, where I can and tell you what I personally think, because I know a lot of you really um, take stock in what I say. And you've been followers of mine and customers of mine for a long time. And if I tell you something, a lot of times you guys will go out and buy this stuff. And I, and I appreciate um, and respect that my opinion means that much to some of you. So I'm always trying to be careful on what I tell you. And I don't tell you something is good if I don't think it's good. And I'm not going to tell you this plugin blows this plugin out of the water because they gave it to me for free because it doesn't blow it out of the water. In my opinion, it's a very good plugin. Okay. And again, plugin alliance, kudos, 
great job on the plugin and thank you for, for allowing me to have it. I didn't ask you for it, but the fact that you did that was really, really cool. You didn't have to do that and that's cool. And I wish there were more companies like you that would do that. I can tell you, you know, and again, I may be a little bit more apt to use this plugin because I've, you know, I've reached out to Solid, the Solid Day Logic. I've reached out to companies like Universal Audio. I've reached out to Waves. I've reached out to Slate Digital. I've asked them to, you know, to maybe, can you give me, I'm going to do these kinds of plugin reviews. I'm going to give you some exposure. You know, would you be willing to donate a plugin? Would you be willing to donate plugins to the Mixing Made Easy Dynamic Mixing Contest? And I will tell you out of all of them, the only one that has done that is Plugin Alliance. So you know what? There's something to be said for that. Um, but I don't want to tell you, I'm not just because they're working with me on this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you everything else sucks. And this is the best one in the world. I don't personally feel that way, but I do feel it's a great plugin. I really, really do. And again, maybe when I play around with this a little bit more and use different channels and stuff and use some more of its more advanced features than this one has, maybe I'll come back to you in a few months and say, Hey, you know, part three, revise. This one wins my heart over this one because of these additional things and overall the sound, not because they gave me the plugin for free. So again, thank you, Plugin Alliance. You guys are really, really cool. Um, there is going to be a chance that you can win these plugins over at MixingMadeEasy.net. I'm working that out with Plugin Alliance now where they may give me some, some uh, they might give me some licenses as part of our mixing contest. They haven't guaranteed me that yet, but they are, they are looking into that. Um, and I would appreciate if they did that. Maybe they give me one copy of this because this is an expensive plugin. And you know what? The guys that develop this need to get paid. They have families too. So they can't give everything away for free. And I understand that. But good job on this plugin alliance. So anyway, if you liked what you saw in this video, hit the subscribe button below. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Go to mixingmadeeasy.net. I hope this uh, kind of uh, satisfied some of the people who wanted to see this. And um, again, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care.